Greetings students. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can actually, when you have been sent a Google slide presentation, you can make your very own copy, add stuff to it, and then share it with me. Here we go. Mrs. Raby, all right, it has sent a mini lesson to me, and I'm going to share that with you. With this particular mini lesson, it has the compare and contrast video. So when you click on the compare and contrast video, it, has, it pops out a box here. If I click on this particular box, it's going to bring you to her lesson. Now, she has actually created her very own video. You will watch that video, and when you're done with the video, you will come down and you will click on the next hyperlink. It says compare and contrast story and Venn diagram. So when you click on this, it's going to basically bring you to a Google slide presentation. With the Google slide presentation, you'll notice it's a Google slide because it has this yellow icon up in the upper left-hand corner. You'll also notice if you look over here at this yellow uh, box, it says view only. Now, if I'm going to view it only, that means I cannot change it or manipulate it. What I need to do is I need to create my very own copy. So what you need to do is you go to the word file here, click on the word file, and it's going to bring you into a drop-down menu. The drop-down menu, if you go down to the third one down, it says make a copy. So if you click on make a copy and you click on the entire presentation, what it's going to do is it's going to pop up this for you and it says copy document. It has a name. It says copy of compare and contrast. What you're going to want to do is take your finger and you're going to, you're going to go ahead and click, all right, to the other side of this. And then what's going to happen, it's going to have the cursor will be right here. You will go ahead and with your, mine's a little different, but with your keyboard, you're going to go ahead and you're going to make a space and then you're going to type your name. Say, for example, my name was Tony. So I would go ahead and put down the name Tony. Um, and then I go ahead and I can exit out of my keyboard here. You'll have your own keyboard. And then once it's it, it'll say compare and contrast. All right, copy of compare and contrast. And it has the name Tony. You'll have your name in there and you'll go ahead and push the word OK. The reason why I want you to put your name on there is because when I have 18 students send me something, I need to, I need to quickly be able to tell who has sent it to me and who hasn't. Now, if I put them all in one particular folder, it becomes very, very confusing if I don't have them all in one central location with your name on them. So please add your name. Next thing you're going to do is after you read these two pages from the book that Mrs. Raby read to you, you're going to click right down below this and it's going to have another sheet and this is the compare and contrast Venn diagram that you're talking about. Remember, when I compare things, those are things that are the same. Notice you have the word turtles, both, and tortoise. If I click down below here, it's going to pop up a box, a text box, that I can actually type in now because it's no longer a view only, but it is an actual, it is your particular copy. It's like you've taken, and Mrs. Raby has made a copy for you, but you basically have made your own copy. So now you can take and you can, when I click here, when the text box, I can type, all right, or you can type things that are the same, all right, that are, you are comparing a turtle and a tortoise. Then you're going to go ahead and you can click over on the turtle side and you can write items that are only all right, true about turtles. When you are done with the turtles, you can come over to the tortoise and you can click here and you can type into the box. Now, when you have uh, the three different text boxes filled out, because it says to write three things that are different on each side, all right, so what's different? All right, and things that are the same in the middle. So three, three, and three. When you finish and you have a total of nine different things, then what you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and you can share this with me. So all you have to do is if, I hit, if you hit the share button here, and then you go ahead and inside here, if you go ahead and start to type in my name, it's gonna automatically automatically it's going to autofill all right so you'll click here it'll you'll share it with me joey haywood and then you'll go ahead and just push the send button and then i'll be able to see it okay so good luck with that assignment if you have any comments or questions that you're something you're not uh, that you're not sure about you could always go guardian me message me or you can send me an email okay you guys got this i know you can do it thanks bye